What's up YouTube, I'm Josh Nealon. Today I'm going to share with you guys how I got two different trials with semi-pro clubs without having any connections. So first of all, quick disclaimer, guys, I'm not saying that I'm an expert on getting trials. I am not a professional, never signed a contract. I'm still playing in college. And also by no means am I trying to brag about this. I just wanna share with you guys the method that I used to, to get two different trials this summer. So with that said, um, like I said, I am a college soccer player. I play for an NCAA Division III school, Shrine University, our season. Normally we play in the fall and then we have a spring season with some scrimmages and practices and then summers are off of everything. This year our season we played in the spring due to COVID and we still have summer all off. So after my spring season I reached out to primarily UPSL teams back home here in Arizona with the goal of getting some solid team training in um, above everything else but also hopefully getting to play with some teams in the UPSL or other semi-pro um, competitive leagues. So first of all, I just went on the UPSL website, looked up, you know, scrolled down at the whole Arizona division. I reached out to all the teams that were within an hour, an hour and a half of where I live. So one of these teams, East Valley United, um, I found their own website. I found the coaches' names and the staff names on there. And then from there, I was able to find the email of the head coach I emailed him. I also looked him up on LinkedIn, just searched up his name, found him there, and again messaged him pretty much the same way, sending him a quick introduction, um, explaining why I was interested in trying out for the team, and then included a link to my highlights at the end, of course. I didn't get a response from LinkedIn or to the email that I sent to him, so then I searched his name up on Twitter. I found his Twitter account and again DM'd him basically the same thing. And that time, I did get a response and he told me to come out a certain day, certain time, at a certain place. So I brought my cleats, brought everything with me, um, practiced with the team that night, and that was actually the first night I got back home. Um, it was really good timing. I got to right away go and try out for the team. And I introduced myself to a coach beforehand. He said, yeah, just, you know, just hop on in and do everything they're doing. Um, you know, I trained with them. Afterwards, just talked to him again. And he just said, yeah, you're welcome to come out to training. Um, they told me when they train normally, added me to their team group chat. So it wasn't a super official trial or things like that. And then pretty much around the same time, um, there was another team, UPSL, Olympians FC. Um, I found their old website. I found the coaches' names and stuff, looked them up. I looked up one of their old strength and conditioning coaches on LinkedIn, searched his name, connected with him, messaged him again, saying the same thing. I'd sent other coaches and then he's actually not with the club anymore. They rebranded, um, changed a bit. It's at Lydico Olympians FC now. And he told me, reach out to these pages on Instagram. It was their, um, the club's Instagram pages. So I DM'd both of them. The older Olympians FC one didn't reply because it's not an active team anymore and they've changed to Atletico Olympians. Um, but I messaged the main account. They replied and said they would get back to me um, regarding a trial. They did not get back to me in t the day that they said they would. So then I just reached out again, you know, kind of a reminder and just asked them again, you know, am I still being considered for a trial? Because at that point it was kind of a, if they're not gonna give me a trial or anything, I'm just gonna stick with this other club. Then he reached out to me again, asked for a player bio and said, um, you know, it was a Wednesday through Friday morning. Can you come out these days, this time, this place? So, you know, I sent him my player bio. Um, I showed up on a Wednesday morning, pretty professional, ran, got a kit, trained with the first team. Um, afterwards, the coach talked to me, explained, you know, I explained to him, I don't want a contract. I can't sign a contract. I really just want to train, get better, play games if I can. So he explained, you know, the first team and then they, uh, their U23s, U20s were starting in a few weeks because guys like me were coming back from college. And I chose to go with that team. That's a team I've been training with. You know, I'm on Atletico Olympians FC. I've been training with the U20s, their first team. Um, I trained with them probably six times or so. 
and yeah they're way beyond my level they're going to be playing the nisa independent cup coming up this weekend um and then as far as the u20s which are, they're going to be called the u23s really they will be playing in the upsl division one starting in the fall so that's pretty much um how i got these two trials tryouts with these different clubs and i had no connections to any of the coaches at all anybody at the club at all it was just putting myself out there and even when it felt annoying to message this same coach three different times guess what the third time it worked he let me come out to a trial um and then with the other club as well it wasn't a just direct dm them okay now i had to search it up find the coaches the staff could only find like one of them on linkedin message them on linkedin then he told me okay go message this account i messaged the account and then i had a you know again when they said a trial and then i was like well are you still considering me for a trial and then i got my chance so again this method isn't going to work for everybody there are better methods in this for sure but having no connections still being in college you know especially if you're in my position you just got to put yourself out there you got to reach out you never know when that chance is going to come i messaged lots of other coaches from a couple other teams as well through multiple ways got nothing back from them these two times it happened to work out in my favor so like i'm sure a lot of you've heard me say before you've got to control what you can control put yourself out there put in the hard work not just on the field but also emailing making highlight videos all that stuff is really important you know and just don't give yourself any excuses oh i don't know anyone of that team i don't want to seem weird i don't want to be annoying just reach out a lot of coaches are going to respect that and i'm pretty sure <laughs> The first coach I messaged like three different ways, I think he read my message on LinkedIn. And then that might've been the reason he let me come is because he saw I kept pestering him and asking for a tryout and he gave me one. So obviously always be professional, be polite, but coaches are also probably gonna have respect for you when you have the balls, you have the guts to just show up, to just keep messaging them and to not take no for an answer because that's how they want you to be at training to not just give up right away to not be shy so you got to put yourself out there don't give yourself any excuses connections help a ton you obviously should build those I have a video talking about how you can build connections um, I'll link it up here I just want to share you guys um, how I got two trials which I probably never should have got but hard work pays off in one way or another hope you guys can take something from this video um, if you did like please hit the like button if you like this kind of content please subscribe as well turn on those notifications i post videos like this every week i post on wednesdays and saturdays so again thank you for your support i'll see you on saturday with a new off-season episode